<laughs> hey, Nathan Lowe, the uh, Indie Dog Whisperers here, and Charlie Clifford, CC. And also, Charlie the right. Dog is C here. C C C C partner. Hey, is this the earliest you've ever been up in your life? What time is it? Yeah, Are you <laughs> sleepwalking here or something? Before we got so, here. It's got to hey, be 6 a.m. Anyway, you have your dog. First off, your dog's mm. name is Charlie. Was, why why, why did you name him Charlie? I a little Charlie? suspect, do you think? Well, yeah. long story there, and I'm a little freaked well, out. Five minutes he, or Charlie. he was going crazy a minute ago. <laughs> and <laughs> hey, you're on TV, buddy. He, he knows it, too. Kind of like you camera There you go. Yeah. So his, my beautiful fiance, his mom, Charlie existed before I did. So this was part of their family dog. They had two oh. dogs. We ended up babysitting him, and we decided, hey, we're in Indy. They're in Cincinnati. Let us keep him. Shh. And as you can tell, he's, he's asking to go back. He wants to go home. Please can bring you blame me home. Red if speed. anyone is watching out there, please call my real uh, parents. I want to go home. So what what do you, what is what do you have going on with him at home? That's this He's basically whining. a lot. He's a chatterbox. Okay. Everyone who knows him well says he is the most personality of any dog they've ever met. He's very chatty, as you can tell. Every time we come home. The door opens, he will uh, go and find you a shoe okay. and bring it to you. Does he chew them? Every time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, gotcha. yeah I brought my good early. ones today. Big time problems here. So. <laughs> There's Colleen, uh, his, his beautiful mom. Hmm. They're very close. Uh, and But the main thing is, mm -hmm. Nathan, when we eat food, and I'm sure a lot of folks at home, constant yes. at the table, yes. under the table. There was this morning trying to get up to get on TV <laughs> here. Do you sleep with your dog? He's in the bed. He's he's normally, you Randy know. and I exchange yeah. knowing glances. Well, good luck, Nathan, with <laughs> yeah. this. Good luck. I'm done. Just talk to him. <laughs> we'll see you next segment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, go over. So, so the whining at the table, how long have you had Charlie for? Uh, going on four years now. Have you ever fed him from the table? Yes. yes. You have. Do you continue yes. to do that? Well, we okay. tried so it. Yes. Yes. So yes. Yes. Okay. So, so are you really bewildered as to why he's whining? No. In that sense. No, it's not. <laughs> no. We need to okay. know how to fix it. Okay. Though, now. So, so first step is you got to quit feeding him from the table. Yeah. That's number one. Yeah. So what I do to teach dogs, um, the kind of the first layer in this, Charlie and Charlie, is to <laughs> set a treat on the ground or even a piece of people food, as it were. When he comes for it, step over the top and let him know he needs to back up. Okay. So step one is him understanding you're capable of taking over food. Yeah. Right? Instead of handing it to him. And by the way, never hand food to a dog, like out of your hand. That's them taking your food from you. Do you, right. do, you do that? I, that's a yes. I, I won't answer that. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> this, this, it's all a given. <laughs> so, it's not the dog's problem. It's his problem. We need a light bulb swing You're over his head. You're asking questions you already know the answer to. Okay? I don't. Randy apparently does. Oh. So, 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 see, the, the confusion in a dog's mind is if you tell them they do have authority to do certain things in relationship to food, right. they'll, if you're not giving them, they're like, hey, oh, oh, I have a right for this. Yeah. So, <laughs> remove the right first. It may not be fun. I always just toss food to a dog. If a dog will stay back from something, then I'll toss it to them. If you let them eat it out of your hands, that's a different matter. You're telling them, you have a right to come up all up on my food. You do the treat training exercise, then when I, what I do is if I am going to eat and I set a yeah. plate on my table, I stand up and walk toward the dog and say, uh-uh. Okay. And I give a physical signal that I'm guarding my food. So he knows the food's up there, in and then mind. you're coming in. And I'm saying back off. Then I go sit down in front of my food. So that's a signal he needs to send. Not, I can just flow all around the table. My parents get frustrated, but nothing really gets done about it. Yeah. Just, hey, hey, you know, stop, stop. So, quit yeah. wine, we're trying to eat. Can he lock him up in, in his crate? Does he have a crate? Well, I guess no, not. he doesn't well, have yeah. a crate. He's 13. <laughs> Randy, what's your conian measures? Oh. So, <laughs> so, so the thing about a crate is it doesn't solve the problem. Them. Then they'll just whine in his crate. He needs to understand Charlie's saying, this is our food. Charlie's fiance say, this is our table, this is our food, you need to hang back. Now he may push the issue, but if he does walk further up until, when a dog retreats further off, they tend to become quiet then. Okay. Claim the space in front of your dining room table before you eat with the food on it. Got it. Then sit down. If he gets up, stand up again and come toward him and say, ah, ah. 
and let them know you need to hang back and relax. Off Just the food. repeat that process yes. until. Yes, that's what I would recommend. It. Okay. And then let me know what happens, and we'll dial it in further. It's a bit of a hail mary at this point, Nathan. But I'm. Uh, uh, I love the sports metaphor. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm. Good luck. We're, we're open for it. <laughs> I we're could, open. This is for going it. in one ear. Right <laughs> yeah. I'm, no, no, we're I'm, listening. I'm going to have to therapy after this. Uh, no. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Charge him double, will you, Nathan? I'll oh, try. Right in one ear. I just see it going right out. No. Not going to change it. No. No. We trust. Trust me, it's gotten yes. to a point where we're like, all right, we got yes. we got to do something. Yes, and you know, and it's our fault. Well, it's our fault. well, and it, but you don't beat yourself up. It's it, you know, typically what happens, or or do I think Randy wants you to? Actually, what happens is you know you have human species, dog species, and miscommunication, and that's kind of what's happening. Yeah. You communicate clearly on his level. Food's ours. Leave him, leave it alone. Deal. Yeah. Charlie, Done. the dog's okay. It's Charlie, the human, and he's yeah. Out. Now the real. I've got a great uh, vibe off the dog. Therapy so. session here. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Indie Style, Charlie. Hey, it's Welcome great to be here. We, 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 we have time for you, Charlie. I 